Hey, hello there, Virgo. Welcome to my channel. I'm grateful you're here to watch your tarot card prediction. This card reading covers September 4th to the 8th of 2018. Keep in mind these general readings will not always resonate. You will know when it resonates with you, though. What does not is meant for another. More personal readings can be booked. Check out the links below for more information. Remember to check out your past video predictions. They will resonate more clearly then when that time has arrived. This channel is an evolving channel. I hope you stay tuned in. Okay then, Virgo. Off camera, I have blessed, meditated, and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere of the week. It's the basis of the matter. It's the background. It's the King of Swords, Air Energy, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. The King of Swords. This is someone that speaks the truth. They're a stern figure or involved with mental work. They might sometimes be blunt, blunt or abrupt. They're a good counselor. They speak with eloquence. They give you sound advice and he knows something. He's fair, and he always speaks the truth, so listen for the correct approach. This person has a connection. They're the strong, silent type who believes in keeping their word. But once you get to know them, they'll talk your ear off. This is a person that's a really good leader, especially if it has to do anything with uh, mental stuff. They're charming, too. Your second card, it's the energy crossing over your path. This is the immediate future. The Three of Wands, Virgo. The Three of Wands. This is a realization of hope. And something is coming in that you've been waiting for. This is the fruit of partnership. And it's working on already established patterns. As long as you act mature and responsible, others are going to respond to you in a positive way. So use a confident attitude. Things are set in motion. Let go of past hurts. And in love, make the first move. Your efforts will be rewarded. You're planning some more and thinking. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. A new beginning with the Ace of Swords. Another truth card. The Ace of Swords. This is a new beginning, a brand new way of life. It's a major breakthrough. This is a new direction in life, and it's going to bring prosperity. It's going to bring truth and recognition. It's going to be spiritual growth and triumph over difficulties. So grasp the opportunity. It's a spark. And study all aspects carefully. Do not make hurried decisions. And it's a reminder to always keep your promises. <clears throat> your fourth card, it's the future. It's the outcome. It's the results. The advice. It's a major card. Number eight of the Major Arcana in the Rider weight deck. Strength. Number eight. Strength. This is the zodiac sign card for Leo. This is fortitude and courage and determination. This is a card that stands for fate and using self-control and a time when faith in yourself will pay off. So endure for a better future. You're holding steady despite challenges and you're being strong in spirit. So stay gentle and use your courage and your quiet confidence. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. It's the underlying issue. It's what's unseen. The four of pentacles, Virgo. You're holding on. The four of pentacles. And you're being comfortable in your defensive zone. You're conserving and being self-protective. But your fixed attitude might limit you and block new opportunities. 
You're trying to save and be stable and cautious and not chance anything. You're protecting your money and your boundaries. The advice is to go with the flow because your foundation is firm. Let loose a little. Don't hold on too tightly. You might be being too stubborn. So be generous in your wealth and spirit and you'll be able to cultivate your best talents. Thank you so much, Virgo. Thank you for the, all those wonderful comments and validations. Please keep them coming and subscribe, you guys. You keep me inspired and thrilled to keep making these videos for you. Bless you. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So keep it positive. Love and light.